Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Past Just Skin. Today we are looking at, for an episode of Cold Open, Zotrix. <laughs> I don't know much about this game at all, other than it appears to be a top-down shooter. Uh, it was picked up from the Hong Kong Japanese... Uh, was it Hong Kong or Japanese? Yeah, Hong Kong PSN store. And it was actually on sale for a ridiculously low price, so I thought I would give it a try. Now, normally whenever I see these like smaller independent games, I don't really kind of expect much from them. So... If this is just a flying around shooting sim or flying around kind of uh, Space Invaders game, I'm not going to be upset or anything. It's a, I enjoy a good retro game because of the fast gameplay, the fast experience you get from playing them. So let's see what we got here. In the options. Very, very simple. Okay, so this look, this whenever I see option screens like this, and with that kind of simplicity in them, it automatically makes me think that they're mobile ports. So this could be a mobile game that's been ported across for consoles to play. Mars. It took, it took us decades to come here. And a couple more to build our own base. Start terraforming. Inhabit the place. And get it wrecked. Mankai was on the verge of conquering planets. And then, out of nowhere, they came and destroyed everything. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> They traveled through the universe using some kind of space jump technology. Destroy the human race. Our priorities have changed. Now we know for sure we're not alone. The human intelligence, or whatever it is, continued in the following decades. Intelligent machines, we managed to send a space station into deep space. So we're probably playing as the AI controlled ship, maybe? That will serve to serve us to explore the universe. As the best recruit in the class of Starship Command from Solar Division. Um, you're invited to secure cargo nodes, cargo routes between our stations, and protect them from threats. Good morning, Lieutenant. Welcome to Ozone C Seven. Well, there we go. Space Station Mission Control. From here, you're able to get manage all aspects of your duties. Choose your next route, trade resources, buy and sell equipment, and strategize your next move. Oh, is this kind of like... Is this more of a, like, 3X, expand, explore, and whatever else with less kind of action-y bits? Uh, you find available routes towards other space stations, like the route to see its description. So I'm assuming we have to unlock the routes as we go along. You can always check status of your resources. Yeah. Equipment store is a place where you can... Equip and arm your fighter ship before starting a mission. Yeah. Resource trading. And starting a mission. Okay. So, to access the tutorial again at any point, you can go up there. Welcome to the planet. The situation is intense and attacks on our cargoes are taking a toll of our defense capabilities. Your first major quest is to power, is to prove the Solar Command Division Command that you are the right person for the job. Protect the cargo on the route from Ozon 7 to Ardron and report to duty there. Alright, so essentially it's gonna give us like a first mission to go run through. Let's rock and roll! Uh, or then the. Yep, so that's our first mission. Ba -ba -ba. See what we got. Yeah, station stores. You can buy bits as you actually have more credits. Uh, selected item. Current resources. Uh, shopping cart. And finally there. Yeah, what do you have? Paid for your items. You land up in your inventory. Again, the tutorial. Right? You know. So anything we don't have we have iron and that's about it nothing really is affordable all right so maybe it's just the fact that i'll just start the first mission i just start the first mission it might actually have some resources to do some changes but we'll have the baseline to work with first so what does our spaceship got i'm ship with the equipment of your inventory check the route details and assign weapons to your weapon slots this is a very very detailed space sim flight destruction thing i kind of was hoping for the like, turn on and just fight wave after wave of enemies but no, no, this is actually going to make sure that I'm going to read everything that's on the screen. Yep, yep, I'm definitely reading all of you. Uh, special departments, yep, 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 you're reading you, yep, yep, they're all making sense to me. Yep, I can't really do anything because I have no goddamn items. So, what, was this on PC or something? Because it you saying weapon keys, and it's implying that I, uh, yeah. So this was a PC game more than anything else, so I can imagine this being working really well on a keyboard. But, um, I'm not doing that, I'm on a control pad, man. Pause game, fire primary, uh, charge, 
Fire primary, fire primary is either on either side. Charge active weapon slot, or change active weapon slot. Fire from active weapon slot. Fire secondary. So secondary is here. That's that. Aim. Move your ship. Active slot. Yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, Abula. Um. <laughs> That's literally, I end up missing every single one in there. Yeah. yeah I'm getting, uh, feeling that I'm not meant to be getting shot as much as I am. Uh, it's like a wee bullet hell screen behind it. Oh, there we go. We get upgrades, and that actually means I can shoot more and faster. Okay. And then they start acting a bit differently. All right. It works for me. I can shoot their bullets out of the air, so it can give me a little bit more space. That works for me. My shields recover, I imagine. Come on, I need that boost. Ah! There we go. That makes it easier to kill them. Fire is weird because of the gapping between each of these guys. Yeah. Through these. Oh, right, so this is actually so I can shoot a clear path for. Yeah, I got you covered. I got you covered. Shooting the bullets out of the sky. I got that. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. to do is make sure that this ship doesn't get blown up in any way shape or form to make sure it gets through so if i just destroy all those that will stop them from attacking no 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 stop that you motherfuckers yeah I, I like the fact that inertially you keep moving unless you actually use thrusters that's a nice touch and, uh, but they actually can't shoot past you there you go bam 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 oh, shit. Motherfuckers! <sighs> oh man, uh, that's not good. Right, so I made it through. Essentially, it's just a matter of uh, percentage completion as well. 69%. Fuck you! I didn't do too badly there. But, um, plenty of credits, probably be able to buy some basic weapons and whatever else for clearing the enemies. So, that's how the gameplay plays. It is a Space Invaders, um, Galag, uh, Galaga style clone with, um, an extensive kind of like plots and worlds that's going on between it. More quests, I'm not gonna, a lot of text. So if you're actually into that kind of, um, space exploration and you want to actually find out more about this game, you should probably check it out uh, i don't know if it's actually available on the european store yet but it will be if it's on the hong kong score store or the japanese store it's more than likely going to make it to us at some point but as it is now obviously i'm i always take these games and take a first look and an early look at them and um no i don't know if this game should be in the made in japan because i'm pretty sure it's a western game it just happens to have been released over there and it hasn't re hit its release date here but i haven't seen it on the play psn store you can also probably check this out on steam as well of course i'm sure so be safe to assume. Life decoy? What's that? Um, these are all decoys? I'm just wondering if it's actually the nuke all. Ha! <laughs> Time tactical nuke. Shield. Steel shield. So each of these are actually like different weapons. I don't know if you actually get an infinite load of these and then they're just kind of like charge but i would really love if there was actually those kind of like orbit whenever it says orbit that makes me think it's kind of like the um little uh options that you used to get back in galaga but yeah this looks reasonably cool i mean it looks reasonably detailed it looks like there's actually a fair amount of uh, expansion and customization to go through with us uh let's grab some cheap we'll grab uh the life decoy because how do i add it to the cart wait why wasn't I able to add it to the cart? Oh, no, oh, God. So, the mini screen isn't the most intuitive. Um, definitely feels like a PC screen that's actually being kind of like transposed across to, uh, there we go. Oh, okay, right. So that's been added to the, right. Uh, add that to the cart, there we go. 
That's a good start. Well done. And card. And we need some kind of like torpedoes or missiles. Smart missiles. Smart missiles be perfect. There we go. Buy those. Oh, so oh, it's a, I can't even just buy with credits. I need to have those specific resources. Oh man, well, that kind of sucks. So I'm still stuck with that same kind of thing before I actually ever want to do another level. All right, we're going to do one more. We'll do a quick one. Um, our band to London. Well, why not? We're actually going to jump across the UK, and uh, we don't need any resources, do we? So trading room, I assume, is actually buying and selling stuff that might be needed. Uh, if you're looking for particular things to upgrade, so this is where. Ah, uh, ticker tape as well. Jesus. Okay. So this gets unbelievably elaborate. And mattering on the place that you're in, you can buy and resell from place to place. So um, I'm sure there's a way to game this system. But in the wider sense, it's just showing what stuff is actually available in Arban and what their current credits and value is. So you can actually, of course, uh, pick up loads from place to place and then resell them. Impressive. It obviously gives a lot to work with. Uh, so essentially you have a network that you actually work around so that's you can see where the map you can actually see where they all oh god damn it let's see where they are. so it's actually like a ring network and then there's routes between each one of them so you want to kind of build up so that there's actually a perfect kind of like spirograph in the center of it of uh places you can all go to that makes sense that's kind of cool and then of course at that point you're actually managing the world and uh that's the plot of what's been going on all right cool so let's do another quick submission and we'll actually like May give it a show, try, may give it a kind of like a drop at that point, but at least then we can see if there's actually much difference between the roots or the gameplay that goes on in them. Oh, no, you start again with a uh, minimal attack. So that's our frustrating. You're kind of like spend more time surviving at this point before you actually get to the main because you're trying to avoid getting hit. Um. Uh. Yep, there we go. That makes it easier. Yep, 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 yep. So we can actually kill in a single shot would be nice. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Ah, poor like it. You're just strafing and running across them. Yeah! Die, you sons of bitches! Oh, I'm dead. Near dead. Near dead. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, I missed that one. Oh, oh, and you depower down whenever you actually get hit enough times. Oh, so that makes sense. Um, that was a terrible idea because I'm going to get mauled here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, need that. Oh, immediately disappeared on me because of my health was so low. And the inertial... I don't know how much you need to actually level up because, I mean, essentially, if I... And then mission field if I actually get hit too many times. You don't get killed, you just get mission field. Or is that the destruction of the ship that actually happened? There you go. It shows like the game's not simple. Well, the game is simple yet also deep in its own way and not intended to actually be a, a quick hammer through that you do level after level after level. You kind of have to be prepared. So I imagine I probably have to do that first one a couple of times to get enough resources to be able to get ready to do the next one. I think. So I suppose... Um, yeah, this is a good way to probably stop it. This has been uh, Zootrix on the PS4. Bought from the PS4 PSN on Hong Kong for, I think it was like three bucks. So uh, I imagine it was, because it was on sale, this will be like a six to seven dollar, six to nine dollar kind of title on the uh, USA store and about seven pound on the UK store, or European store. So yeah, check it out. I, I think it's a, this is like a very niche interest. I like it just for the actual um, space combat game, a space combat shooter game. I played so much of Galaga and R Type and Space Invaders whenever I was growing up that this kind of fits into a little space right there. So, yeah, if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed me talking about it, remember to hit the subscribe button up here. It's going to be floating around somewhere around this point. And if you actually want to see any more videos here from the channel, you of course grab some of the stuff that's sitting over here. This is actually like stuff that I've actually done recently. This is stuff that's actually recommended to you. And then this is the playlist. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.